Hey, what's up YouTube? I finally got tech here to complete our mercenary gear series. Uh, we have now reviewed all of the figures. I'll link the videos down below. And this will be the last one in the mercenary gear from the Walmart exclusive line. So here we have tech and he's probably had the least amount of changes. Uh, it doesn't look like here's his box. You can see we've got the original tech there in the background, but here's his box. And again, I have to comment that it's strange that all the members of the Bad Batch are featured with their helmets on, except for Hunter, whose paint job looks the absolute worst. So here are the accessories that Tech comes with. And the reason I'm not doing an in-car review for this figure is because, like Echo, he has that backpack, but he also has some even worse accessories that are just so insanely delicate that I don't feel safe taking this figure out of my home. So I'm reviewing him here in my library. All right, so got some nice box art and on the cover, it kind of shows uh, his eyes visible through the goggles. And on the original figure, that's certainly not the case. So I'm interested to see if that actually is a piece of transparent plastic in the helmet. So Tech actually has the least amount of wasted space that I've seen in one of these boxes. I'm actually quite impressed. That's very nice. Very little wasted space, just a little bit at the top, but honestly, the width is really what is the big problem. So I think that's great. Of course, they could have made the box a little shorter, but that's okay. That is the least amount of wasted space so far. All right, so I see what they've done here. So um, here's the old tech, here's his face paint. As you can see, he doesn't have glasses. His glasses are connected to his helmet and they're not transparent. So uh, can some, who, he looks like somebody, who does this, action <laughs> who does it's certainly not some more Morrison um who does it look like somebody tell me who does tech look like who does this figure of tech look like I know he looks just like some actor and I cannot put my finger on it but so here he is out of the box and so it looks like uh tech did tech is the only one that didn't get a new belt that's probably because he's got all of these accessories that hang off of his belt and what's interesting also is these are not although these were pictured they're not listed in the list of accessories so i imagine that they might be connected to the figure this time they are not connected i imagine they are in this accessory bag and so that's a little added bonus even though it is these little tiny accessories that hang from his belt uh that is why I don't feel good about taking him out of my home is because of these little dangly little accessories. So we see what we, they did here. This time he actually has glasses, which are again like another accessory. Oh, no, they are attached. They're attached to the head. They cannot be removed. So there's transparent plastic. You see, can't see his glasses. Um, that's very interesting. All right, so honestly, if if I were you and I was watching this, if tech is still available, I haven't checked this tech, this Walmart exclusive tech, I would go out and buy one for the head. If I see one of these around and it's a good price, I may buy it just for the head so I could have an extra head with glasses for my original tech. But we don't see like a ton of changes. We do see some, but let's see. My son is a lot better, so the knee guards are different. This part, so I don't know if this is a change or if they just painted this over brown, whereas here it's painted blue. It looks to me like the legs are about the same except for repaint, and the biggest change is honestly just in the paint on the knee guards. It's not any kind of physical change. So. Even his pauldrons have not undergone a change. He's still the same old tech, but he does have a new a new um, head with the glasses, which is cool. So let's check out his helmet and kind of see how that's looking. Here's this new helmet with the eye holes. And again, I apologize for my hands. I have uh, severe, uh, severe psoriasis, and it, so it can look pretty gnarly, but it's not contagious, and it's also not painful right now. So anyway, here's his helmet with the eyes missing, and so let's put, it's not a little connector thing like Echo's helmet, so it should just slide on. Let's see. Oh, too 
two hands are required. So right off the bat, I can tell you that this helmet is going to break this figure eventually. If you're a child playing with this, taking this helmet on and off, this figure, these glasses are going to snap off. Uh, the helmet itself, this part right here, is held on with pegs, and as I was putting it on, one of them already came disconnected. I mean, I just popped it back in, but that just kind of shows you that this helmet is not um, quality. And... I don't know if I love, like, I do love that the eyes are, like, it's transparent plastic over the eyes, so you can see the eyes, he's wearing his glasses, that is a cool detail, but putting the helmet over the glasses, I can just tell it's going to create a lot of wear on this figure. Anyway, so, I don't really have, like, a lot to say, a lot of commentary about the character of Tech, he's actually one of my least favorite members of the Bad Batch, I just find him extremely dry, we know he's sort of model to be a trains and planes person i'm a trains and planes person myself um but i just don't identify identify with him uh, i do think he's cool and he looks cool but i also another thing is i don't think he's dead i don't think it's even possible to actually die of a fall in star wars um like for example i don't think that aura singh is actually dead um i mean think of all the characters we've had fall in star wars fall to their death um, I mean, Obi-Wan literally chopped Darth, Darth Maul in half. He lived. Um, Palpatine fell, you know, the equivalency of the, uh, of the World Trade Center towers, and somehow he survived. So, is Tech dead? Um, no, I don't think so. But will they leave him dead for the dur duration of the next season? Maybe so. Maybe so. I don't know. It seemed, three seasons seem such a short run for the Bad Batch. It seems like a very short run so there may maybe that is a short run maybe the show is canceled and we won't be getting any more of the story because simply because they just have to wrap it up so who knows what's going on with that I would certainly like to see his return I certainly don't believe he's dead I don't believe any character can die from a fall in Star Wars I think it's impossible so we'll see what happens anyway so that's my review for tech as far as this figure, I would give this figure a 7 out of 10. I'm not happy with the helmet, but I do think it's cool. I'm sure the accessories are in this bag. I hate, like, in here is his backpack and probably those, uh, and then there's pistol and, yeah, I can hear those fiddly little accessories rolling around in there. <laughs> I think it was a, I think I had to put them in this thing and it made me, like, a little nervous. I was like, oh, these are gonna get lost. And also... Um, although Tech comes with a blaster, he doesn't have a blaster holder, neither did Echo, and that's kind of annoying. Uh, where do they keep their, where do they hide their piece? Where do they keep it? <laughs> anyway, that's just my noticing things. Um, this is a cute figure. Of course, have to complete the Mercenary Bad Batch. It wouldn't be complete without Tech. And we do hope to see him in the next season. And he can freestand. He can freestand on his own plastic. Looking down at his... Who is it? Somebody comment below and tell me. Who is this actor? Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We are like one subscriber away from hitting our goal of 50. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video.